Man turns his backyard into a zoo. Daughter keeps zebras and peacocks as pets. Her father turns dreams into reality. Dan is a columnist for a newspaper in Los Angeles. His wife died six months ago and still can't get over it. His son Jack is becoming more and more rebellious. And his daughter Mary can't cope with the loss of her mother. The family fell apart overnight. Six months later, the school expelled his youngest son for stealing. He told Ben to teach his son well. Taking this opportunity, Ben decided to start a new life for his two children in a different environment. He and his daughter went to look at houses together, but he saw a lot of them but was not satisfied with any of them. He wanted a big backyard for the kids to play in. Finally, the agent brought him to a house in the suburbs. They saw the house and fell in love with it. The agent said it was a zoo. If he bought the house, he had to buy the zoo. Ben's excitement calmed down. Not knowing anything about animals, he had to give up the house. But when he turned around, he realized his daughter was missing. When Ben found his daughter, he realized she was feeding the peacocks. She had a warm smile on her face that hadn't appeared in half a year. This smile made Ben change his decision. He bought the house and accepted the zoo. His son was very angry and had a big fight with him. There are still some employees at the zoo. They weren't very happy to see Ben and his family. Although it's good that someone accept the zoo, no one ever does it for long. The huge cost of the zoo is being the reach of the average person. The zoo has changed many owners into years. The backyard of the man's house is full of animals. There are lions, tigers and bears and so on. They're cute, but they're expensive and hard to take care of. The oldest tiger here is 17 years old. He's senile and sickly. It costs a fortune to find a vet. And the zoo's fences need to be rebuilt. And that costs a lot of money. Ben's savings are slowly disappearing like water. After a while, the zoo inspector popped by to check on the progress of the repairs because the zoo needed a permit from the government to reopen. After what happened before, he didn't believe that Ben, who was inexperienced, would be able to keep going. He picked holes all over the inspection. After the inspection, the zoo needs more repairs. Ben has to invest more money. Looking at his bank card, which was about to run out of money, Ben almost lost his mind. Seeing Ben like this, everyone else had a feeling. The son was overjoyed to hear that his father might go bankrupt and give up the zoo to go back to the city. But he inadvertently hurt the girl who had a crush on him. The girl won't play with him anymore. At the end of his rope, Ben discovers a fortune left by his wife. She was worried about him, so she had saved the money. He could use the money to start a new life, but he was very happy with his experience at the zoo. The people were genuine and kind. The animals were simple and cute. His daughter was so happy there. He didn't want to give up. If this was an adventure, he was willing to gamble everything. With the money, the zoo's restoration work could go on as normal again. But, the 17-year-old tiger's condition is getting worse. He didn't even have the strength to stand up, nor did he have the appetite to eat or take medicine. His life is coming to an end. Ben didn't want to give him up, but Kate, the feeder, says it's better to euthanize him than to let him live in pain. They had a disagreement and a fight. Afterwards, an angry Ben had a big fight with his son. It took a day for everyone to calm down and talk to each other. Ben couldn't accept the leave of the tiger because of his wife's death. He didn't want to see a life pass away. After his fight with his son, they were honest with each other. It's not that he doesn't love his son. He just doesn't know how to express his love. When the zoo was about to open, Ben took his son's drawing and used it as the zoo's logo. And the zoo inspector comes to check again. He's watching everything very carefully. But then the lock on the door that holds the lions is broken. And someone needs to go in and pick it. Kate was to distract the lion while the other man picked the lock. But the lion was staring at the man, as if he was wondering what kind of food it was. Luckily, he was able to fix the lock before the lion pounced. By the time the inspector got to the lion's enclosure, everyone acted as if nothing had happened. The inspector was so impressed by Ben's persistence that he finally signed the consent form. He wanted the animals to have a place to live, too. But a few days before the opening, the weather forecast was for a week of torrential rain. Everyone was afraid no one would come to the zoo. In the midst of all this tension, the animals finally arrived at the opening day. Perhaps it was God's blessing that the weather was sunny. There was a long line of visitors to the zoo. The zoo which had been abandoned for two years, was finally revitalized, and Ben gradually fell in love with Kate. The son didn't realize he loved the girl until he lost her, so he came to her to apologize and express his love. Ben's family, love and career all turned out well, and a new springtime comes to their family. This is the end of this movie. If you like it, you can subscribe to me. See you next time.